the media shy oligarch Renat Akhmetov and his company hide behind the barricades. He has his headquarters near Independence Square in Kiev. He doesn't give interviews. These images of the oligarch visiting one of his steelworks in eastern Ukraine come from his public relations office. Akhmetov is said to be the richest man in Ukraine, with assets worth about 8.5 billion euros. The oligarch owns mines and steel factories in the Krivirog region. Andrei Levitsky runs them. He owes a lot to Akhmetov. From being a simple train driver, he's risen to being a director in charge of more than 8,000 employees. Iron ore pellets are produced here. They're sold around the world, especially to China. For us, this iron ore concentrate is what oil is for Russia. But for two years, the raw material has plummeted in value. The director admits the plant isn't making as much profit. Maintaining the aging equipment is expensive. Everywhere, there are makeshift repairs. But that's not what the director wants to show us. He prefers to take us into the new computer room. The factory is monitored and runs from here. It's increased the old plant's efficiency. The former command system in the mine has been replaced by teamwork. The iron ore comes from deposits 450 metres underground. There are enough supplies here to last for the next 50 years. With wages equivalent to about 800 euros a month, the truck drivers are among the top earners. The question of how the oligarch came to own the mines doesn't interest anyone here. What do I think of Akhmetov? He's a man who's purposeful, does his work professionally, is developing his business and increasing his profits. Almost the entire region depends on the mine and on Renat Akhmetov. The workers live in houses that belong to the mine. The mine pays their health insurance and even gives them holiday pay. Andrei Levitsky insists on showing us the factory's own cultural center with a mining museum. Just one of the oligarch's many charitable activities. Here, parents can show their children and grandchildren where they'll be working in our factory in the future. Economist Igor Burakovsky, on the other hand, says the oligarch economy is shaky. At present, Akhmetov is losing a lot of money. The tax breaks he's had until now are no longer valid under the new Ukrainian president. His factories in eastern Ukraine are under fire. Terrorists were atta attacking the companies, were they stealing cars, different well, pieces of equipment, were they trying well, to frighten the people, not to let them to go well, to, the, to the place of work, and altogether it makes quite well unpleasant situation for the business from one side in the short run, but from the other side it's still unclear well, for the people like Renata Akhmetov what would be the medium term and longer term implications of the current situation. Director Andrei Levitsky says the unrest has not yet affected his factory, but the fighting is only a few hundred kilometres from the plant's gates. He hopes everything there remains quiet.